This video is for educational purposes only. For those that really want to see the psychology behind these kinds of interrogations, there is use of strong language and references to graphic and disturbing events. This is for mature audiences only. This Jody Arias interrogation took place for more than six hours, so we've broken it down into a series of one hour long segments. That playlist is in the tab to the top right. That should pop up now. To see how Jody got herself into this situation, we also covered the case, and the link is in the description below. The best thing that you can do to support this channel is to like and subscribe. We have multiple videos each week that consist of various case breakdowns, interrogation highlights, and full interrogations just like this. If that's your sort of thing, we would love to see you in the next one. Enough rambling, let's get into it. drove to his house but Deanna was there waiting for him for some reason to visit or something and he was so scared that she would see him in my car that I practically had to keep the car rolling and kick him as I drove by in his house and he's like don't even put it in park just roll up real quick and he jumped out and shut the door and he's like no go 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 so I was like okay and I just kind of laughed at that that was August 18th um so I see the type of relationship I mean it's it's exactly what I thought it was. Well, his thing with Deanna was, and I don't think that he had anything physical going on with her, I don't know. I don't, no. I don't think so. Um, I know that for a time there was, and then she's pretty um, strong in that category, I think, as far as her values and standards go. Um, so why this trip this time? I know you said he couldn't, he canceled on you even coming up here in the first part of June, right? Why did you end up going there then? Is it because he couldn't go and you guys still wanted to see each other? Well, when his um, trip the second time got postponed, um, it was probably last week of May that I, that, you know, it was kind of obvious that he wasn't going to come then, but he said, listen, after Cancun, um, I have like, I have like two weeks that I'm not, I have nothing going on before I go to DC. And he's like, I think that's the best time. He's like, I'm gonna see if it works out for my friends up north, which would have been you know, Chad Perkins, his friend, and now his wife. And we can do it all then. And I said, all right. But at that time I was like, whatever, <laughs> we'll see. I might just not see you until I go back to Utah. We, everyone convenes it. And you there, I'm sure everyone's gonna do it at the end of the month. So did he know you were coming? The first part um, of I wasn't even, like I had been talking with Ryan at this point. And obviously there's a distance there and that was difficult and he really wanted to spend time with me and I really wanted to spend time with him and it just seemed like he had made a few comments I should when am I gonna come out there and you know I was like as soon as you want you know but I didn't think he was serious and uh, it's just Ryan you're talking about Ryan Burns yeah. um, so finally um, things began to work out at Casa Ramos with my schedule which is the Mexican restaurant and they have, I have a three-day weekend there so I thought I'll make this, take this opportunity and go see Ryan. And that was my intention. I, what happened when you left? Why did you go the other way? That's my question is know, why, why go to see Travis if you're going to see Ryan as well? And did, did Travis know you were coming? He you knew? I saw you kind of shake your head a little bit, I don't This is hard. It's okay. Did he know you were coming? Did you guys talk on the phone? I have to look. What was the discussion about? Gordon Hinckley mostly. The last conversation you had? The last long one. We talked a little bit prior to Did you guys talk when you were when you were en route to, to Phoenix? Yeah. Just briefly. I told him my phone was dying, which is true. Um, I thought I left my charger in Monterey with Matt. Um, I really honestly thought that I left my charger there and I had been talking all day between just on the phone, um, 
I take lots of pictures of myself, and I know it's... I noticed. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm kind of picky about it, and I guess I take them, and I'm like, delete, delete, delete. I will take, like, 20, I'll be like, delete, delete, delete. Keep one. <laughs> yeah, keep two or three or one or none, depending. And uh, so I talked a little bit with John Dixon, who I was m maybe going to go to San Diego. Um, there's another place on the list there, too. That was in the same trip? Yeah, it's a little ambitious, but I thought... Um, Gosh, that's like 25, 2800 miles. It doesn't bother me, except I think I put like 2400 miles in the car. I, I can't minutes. stand driving yeah, I 45 love minutes somewhere. <laughs> yeah, where are you flying out of? Uh, Oregon. Medford? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good, just about an hour. Anyway, it's a pretty drive. Um, so, it was a little ambitious, but I like road trips, and sometimes I have a realistic view of things, unrealistic about how, about my time, and I tend to show up a little later than expected, which is not unusual for me, but. So he knew you were coming, and he, he was expecting you. Now obviously you guys had little encounter and is that when those pictures were taken? Did he even show you those pictures? That's gonna be hard. I feel really powerless in here. Do you know what my family is doing today? No. Do you know if they're good? Or? I haven't talked to them today. I know they're worried about you. Everybody's just kind of in limbo right now. So obviously there was nobody else at the house when you got there. His roommates were gone. Well, there was Napoleon, but... He's a person, too. <laughs> yeah, I got to meet Napoleon. Oh, he's so awesome. But nobody else was there? I think his roommates were there. You think his roommates were there? Were there cars there? You would have had to have seen their cars. You parked in the driveway, right? Yeah. One roommate parks it in the garage and the other one parks it outside. Well, I know Zach would park on the street a lot when I lived there before. And then he pulled his car into the garage whenever he would work on it. What makes you think his roommates were there? I asked him. What did he say? Who was home? He said they were there. But I don't know who. Um, the reason I asked, because it's kind of an indication of how quiet we have to be. What time was that? Do you remember what time you rolled in? Mm. Three o'clock. And it's still dark. Um, Wednesday morning? Yeah, that makes sense. You're pretty sneaky. You go up there and your roommate doesn't even know that you're there. <laughs> I do that many, many, many nights. How did they not see your car? Um. I don't know. I was parking. Oh, you know what, Zach? was house-sitting for his girlfriend. His girlfriend was on a trip with, uh, was on a cruise with her parents and he was staying the night at, I think he stayed the night at, uh, That makes sense because I want to say that his roommate, he said his roommate was home, but I don't remember, but I think he said one roommate One was home. roommate. There's and Rika, he gets up about 
five thirty, six o'clock in the morning. And if I'm correct, then Enrique the has the room that shares the wall with Travis's room, which is like yes. And you know, it's a KB home. Travis always says the walls are really, really thin. Yes, they skimp on that part. Yeah, so Enrique was home. So you went about two or three in the morning. But he gets up about six, and no, he leaves the house about six in the morning. He didn't notice anything different. Did you guys spend the whole day together then? That following day? Did you guys go anywhere? Stayed in the house? Slept. Oh, well, after a long trip, I'd sleep too. I'm trying to stay up all night waiting. He was watching something on YouTube. Some stupid video. He's like, you gotta see this. And I'm watching it, and I'm like, this is so boring. He's like, what? I was like, what's the point of that? And he's like, just stupid, pointless stuff. I'm like, okay. I, you know, I guess everyone's gotta have their time to binge out. Being so driven and deep as he is, portrays himself to be, it's just funny that he watches stuff like that. It wasn't anything profane or bad, vulgar. It's just, like, people. <laughs> Like dancing, but they had like boxes of foil on their head, and it was just like <laughs> weird, like robotic kind of music. The pictures that I showed you of you laying on the bed and stuff is that when those were taken that day? Yeah, we also made a video, we deleted it. Video on the uh, on his camera, on that camera. Yeah. Videos are that? videos are hard to get once they're erased. They take up so much room, yeah. and uh, whereas pictures are a little different. Yeah. Um, what happened after that? What what went wrong? I know that the last photos of him were taken about five twenty, five thirty. And you said he doesn't like uh, he doesn't like you to take pictures of him and stuff. He was very private about the shower. Like we Is that why you were taking pictures of him in the shower? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Trying to get back at him. No. Um I I'm really surprised just... he I'm surprised he allowed you to take pictures of him in the shower. The first few looked like he wasn't too comfortable, but Obviously, whatever you were saying to him made him a little more comfortable. I remember all that. It's pretty clear. You remember that? What went wrong? Did he say something to you? Were you angry about something? Were you frustrated? What was it? Did something happened at that point. And I don't know what it was. What are they going to do with the rental car? Are they going to bring it here? Mm -hmm. um, there I were think... several photos of him, and the last one that we have is him sitting in the shower. And that's when I think it happened. <laughs> he was sitting down, looking up at you. What did you do? What happened, Joey? You've gone this far. Did you plan on doing that the whole time? I 
and I don't understand why. Why you, why you took a gun with you? Oh, I didn't. Where is that gun from, then? Where did you get it? Everybody says he didn't have one. Where did you get it? If you didn't take it. Did he have one in the house? Not to my knowledge. Then where did you get it? Did you bring it with you? Did you get it there in Arizona? I didn't ever have it, actually. I didn't like, have it in my possession. Then who had it? you had it and Travis didn't have it, then who had it? Jody. Please. I can't. Why not? Are you protecting somebody else? Why would somebody else do this? I don't know. Did someone catch you there? Someone not expecting you to be there? I didn't see my car. Then who was it? I will, I can tell you. Uh -oh. I can tell you everything that I know or that I remember. Okay. What do you remember? From the time you were taking the pictures to the time you left, what happened? <laughs> happened after that last picture was taken. You have to tell me. If you want me to believe that somebody else was there, you have to show me. You have to explain to me what happened, otherwise it was just you. And if that's the case, that's okay. That's okay as well. It's better if, if everyone thinks that. If everyone thinks that it was just you. No, it's not. It is, really? You have no idea? I do have no, an idea. No, you have no idea. <sighs> You're going through your own things right now. If somebody else was there with you, <laughs> we need to know that. Why would somebody do that? just because you're there with Travis. He didn't say. Hmm? He didn't say. He didn't say? Yeah, he didn't. What was the first thing they did to him? You were there. You saw it. 
What was the first thing I you actually saw? didn't see it. I heard it first. Was there an argument? No? Um, not between traps, no. Any argument between anybody? Is there any way I can see those pictures? I just... No, not right now. Can I see them soon? I will. I mean, I... You need to start letting me know what happened. Okay. You're telling me that some other people were there. You know how, that, how much that concerns me? I don't know who they were, but they know where I live. Mm -hmm. Or they know where my parents are, or I don't know if they know where my grandparents are, but they got my address, and they know where my family is. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So you're trying to say you're doing this to protect your family? Why would someone do this to you and to him? I don't think they really intended to do anything to me. You're saying somebody followed you all the way to Arizona from here? No, I don't think, that. I think I was an element of surprise for them. You were an element of surprise? So they didn't expect I'm you guessing. to be there? I'm guessing, I don't think so. They didn't expect you to be there? I mean, they had to see my car. Is it someone who lives in Mesa Local? I didn't recognize the man. Well, you have to give me a motive. Why would they do this? Were they going after Travis? For what reason? You tell me this, but you give me no reason. They didn't discuss much. They just argued. About what? About whether or not to kill me. For what reason? Because I'm a witness. A witness of what? Him. Of Travis. Of Travis's murder. Yeah, but I didn't really witness it. Didn't see much. It was... Okay. I just um. Oh. You need to make this believable because it is not believable to me right now. You need to give me something. Okay. I just listen. I am listening, they, Jody. I, I am I listening, I listening, and it doesn't make any sense to me. It's fine, because my family will, uh... Well, help us protect your family, if that's the case. They got the red, my driver's license. It has a P.O. box on it. Mm-hmm. And they got my registration out of my purse, which was in the purse that I was using at the time. And it has my parents' address on it. Why would they do this? You see where I'm coming from? Why, what kind of beef did they have with him? Or was it with you, or... There. You need to make this believable. People just don't go in somewhere and kill somebody for no reason and then let a witness go. That doesn't happen. They've already well, killed one person. Why not just take care of the other? Well, yeah. You know who they are if, if you're telling me the truth. I don't know them. Then I don't believe you either. And I can't. You can't expect me to. Okay. I, Here's what I want to. Um. I wasn't planning on going to Travis's house. I was gonna go to Santa Cruz. Well, I wasn't even planning to go to Santa Cruz. I was gonna go to Monterey, but by the time I called Matt, he's like, we're in Santa Cruz, meet us here. And I said, okay, so I went to the red room there, just go kind of hang out for mm -hmm. the locals. So many younger kids our age, sort of 20-somethings and 30-somethings. And I stayed the night in Monterey that night, got up the next morning and visited with Daryl and his son before he went to school. Um, drove, drove, this was Tuesday, the 5th, 3rd, um, and I 
driving to LA, hadn't heard back from Laura yet, but that's what, it was, it wasn't until I got to LA where I thought, I was looking at my map, and Utah wasn't really on there, but, I mean, Arizona, because mm -hmm. it was to Utah, the map quest directions I printed. Um, okay, I just, I just see, like, I've seen the Sopranos, and they're not mafia or anything, but, you know, I just, I honestly, there's a part of me inside that thinks they're never going to come after my family. Well, from what you're telling me, and from what I know about Travis and all his dealings, there's no reason anybody would go after him. Nothing. So what you're telling me about two people coming in, or however many people coming in and taking care of him and letting you go, just just so far fetched. I can't believe it. Why would they do this to him? What were they arguing about? What did they say? Their details. They didn't say a lot. They were white Americans, from what I could tell. They had um. um what do you call those things? They were like beanies, but they cover your whole face. And you've got like holes for your nose and, and your, or your, your mouth and your eyes. And they were, one was black. I think they were both black or maybe dark blue or something. Anyway, um, it wasn't until I was in LA and Laura wasn't getting back to me and it was already like nine something. But I was like, maybe I will just go see Travis briefly. And I called Ryan and said, my phone was about to die. And, um, I tried getting hold of Matt. I got his voicemail. I was going to ask him if my charger was there and if he could save it or mail it or something. Um, so I just... I had a, a wall charger, I think, and I was just going to charge it later, I guess, when I got somewhere. Anyway, um, I did call Travis and... And I said, guess what? And he said, what? I said, I'm coming to Arizona tonight. And there was silence, and he goes, really? And I said, yeah. Well, what made you change your mind? And I just said, um, I just, because I think I just told him I missed him or something. But I, I would have said, because you're too compelling, but like, he's too, he's already got a big enough head over that stuff. So I showed up, and he was watching YouTube on his computer, on his laptop in the office. Um, he, we watched that for a little while and he was very happy to see me. Napoleon barked, but he always barks when somebody walks in and then he, Napoleon was really happy to see me. He gets so excited, his whole body jiggles. And I just do this thing to his butt where you just kind of push him on the side and he goes around in circles over and over and over until he realizes, hey, stop putting me in circles. <laughs> So it was a good reunion, um, and, and, uh, we went, I mean, I told him I was tired, I think, because I, I don't know what he was, what his intentions were, or what he thought my intentions were at the time, like, if we were going to do anything, but I was very exhausted from the trip, and I just said, I think I'm just going to sleep for a little while, and he said, that's fine. So I had slept pretty well the day before, but I was tired from driving all night, so I slept. And he slept, and we must have slept till about one. Um, In the afternoon? Yeah. Must have been around then. Mm -hmm. His roommate was home when I got there. I didn't never see his roommate, though. So I think I was asleep by the time he got up and left. <clears throat> If, if you don't believe me, that's okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying I'm just saying really that, hard. you know, it sounds to me like um, like I'm already in the system, pretty far in. I'm not getting out anytime soon. And as long as the rep falls on me, I think that... That's not good. I, don't do this. No, I'm just saying, I think that um, as long as that is, it's, there's, there's less of a chance that my little brother is going to be hurt, or my mom, or my dad, or my sister that live there. Okay, we'll continue with the story. Anyway. About one o'clock. Yeah, we um, had sex mm -hmm. a couple of times. Once was in his bed, and once was again downstairs in his office. And, uh, he... I don't know what he, he was looking 
looking at some pictures that I had brought for him. Um, but he has a virus on his computer, so when you click the start menu on Windows XP or newer with 2000 or whatever, you have like my music, my pictures, my computer. Yeah. You can usually click on my computer and then go to the disk drive and open that. He like you click the Windows and it would come up, but none of those my this music computers picture yeah. or whatever, none of that would come up. So he has some kind of virus that he was dealing with. And then his screensaver was a bunch of little bugs eating up his screen. It was just weird. And he said that was from the virus too. I thought I was like, that's a cute screensaver. He's like, yeah, it's my stupid virus. So um, for some reason that was frustrating for both of us because we couldn't look at the pictures, and they were from our a lot of our church history trips, which are on my other external drive, which uh, well, I haven't been able to access for a long since after Christmas because it just quit, uh, and I just haven't had the money to spend to get all that and stuff back. Um, so you guys worked with that for a while. Or? Yeah, we had three discs, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, three. And... So what time is this now? You guys are messing with the computer? Um, I don't really remember. It was after every after we had done A couple everything. hours yeah. or an yeah. hour or so later? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Afternoon. I, I just, you know, he had been cleaning his house. Um... So I couldn't, I wasn't sitting on the couch. Usually I'd, I'd just chill on the couch downstairs, you know, if, if no one was home. Um, but he had like chairs and all that stuff all over the couch. Like he was cleaning the floors or something. Uh, fed Napoleon. I don't know if he made phone calls or not or what he was doing on the internet, but at one point he was gonna go up and take a shower and it took a lot of convincing prior when he was shaving. Mm -hmm. I was like, I got some ideas, and they didn't turn out good at all, not like I wanted to. Um, but I thought that I could get some cool pictures of him shaving. It's because he does the whole old-fashioned thing with like this little, I don't know how it works. Um, he liked it though, apparently, because he used it for his profile picture on MySpace. Um, so those didn't turn out as good. I was gonna do that again later, but I sent, I asked him if I could do pictures of him in the shower, and he's like, no. <laughs> And I was like, I just have an idea. I have a couple ideas. And he's like, well, what do you mean? And I was like, I said, I have this I I saw this thing in a Calvin Klein ad once that looked really good. And so he was, <laughs> you're right, he wasn't very comfortable at first. He goes, he's standing there and he's all, I feel gay. <laughs> <laughs> he has that look on his face, though. So. <laughs> so some I deleted and some I kept taking. Um, and some he looked really good, I thought. The one that you showed me yesterday of him looking right at you, I Water. think that's a great picture. He that's hates picture. it. I don't know what he hates about that. I think it's a very good picture of him. So you were taking pictures and showing them? Yeah. Yeah. He's only seeing you know, and showing. His shower door was open, and his, his water pressure in that shower isn't that great, so it's not like water was going everywhere. Um, picture was taken. He was kneeling down in the shower. I don't remember him. If he, like, if this is his shower and the sink is over here, I was like right here taking pictures. And I don't really know what happened after that exactly, except I think he was shot. Where were you? Um, if this is his shower and he's sitting here, I was like, well, if this is his shower and he's sitting here, I was like right here on my knees and his bathtub is right here and I was taking him here and I was just going through the pictures and I heard this loud ring. And I don't really remember except Travis was screaming. I think I got knocked out, but I don't think it was that long. Um, I know I got knocked in the head, and I've, I've gotten knocked in the head once by my dad when he was just really mad, and it wasn't like, actually it wasn't, he didn't knock me in the head, he just pushed me against the wall, and I hit my head, and I fell. But he, in this case, I think it was similar, because he uh, was screaming, and I was by the bathtub, and he was holding his head, 
and there were two people there, and Um, I remember putting my hand on his back because he was on his, all four of his knees. He was like on his knees like this, doing something like this or something like, I don't know. And I was like, I was like, are you, are you okay? What's going on? What's going on? He's like, go get help. Go get help. And I said, okay. And I turned around, there were two people there. One was a guy and one was a girl. I, I could, couldn't tell that at first, but I could just see one was a girl. And I assumed the other was a guy because their build and then their voices. Um, I don't remember if they were wearing like maybe jeans. Um, what did they say? One was in all black, one was in jeans. Did um, they say anything? Yeah, the girl wanted to kill me too. Uh, what did she say? She what, like, what words did you hear? What phrases? Um, who is that? Who is that? I thought he was by himself or alone or something. And, and he was like, shut up, just finish it. And, and Travis was screaming the whole time. He wasn't screaming like a girl. He was just like, like he was in pain. Like he was like shocked, like, ah, oh, you know. He wasn't really moving though. He was just standing, staying kind of still on the floor. Well, as soon as he said, go get help, and I turned around, and I, they were there, and... Where were they? They were in the bathroom. Where at? The bathroom? Not the, the hallway or was, in the bathroom? The girl was in the hallway, kind of. Um, and the guy was more toward in the bedroom, but, like, still in the bathroom, like, on, on the tile carpet area, right there where it starts. Okay. And... He started coming in toward the bathroom too, and I. What'd you do? It was. What happened? What happened, Jody? What did you see? <laughs> I took it out like a little bitch. <laughs> Off. I ran and he stopped me but he, he stopped you? And Travis he was a um he was still like conscious and still alive and um, but you just left him there. No, I, I ran into the closet because like there's two doors and they were sort of in the hallway already. And he stopped me and he didn't touch me. He was just held the gun to my head and he was like, you don't go anywhere. And he told, he told the other girl to finish it. I didn't see. Um, but he was like, I don't think he was saying a lot, um, but He told me to stay there and not to move. And where was that? In the closet? No, it was, um, it was like this. Sorry. Here's. Is this bedroom? Okay, and then you got the long hallway down to this bathroom, the sink. And you have the closet here. Mm -hmm. And then you have the shower, mm -hmm. and then the bathtub right there, and then there's the, uh, the toilet right there. Okay, this is the, uh, the sink. 
that in his bedroom is. Actually, there's a closet door there. Mm -hmm. his yes, exactly. And so his closet is kind of like this part. Mm -hmm. So I ran this way because they were. He was walking this way, and she was already right here. Um, and then he stopped me here, and he said, "Don't move." And. Uh, Travis was here, or somewhere whereabouts, and he left the room for a minute. And I didn't have my stupid phone, because it wasn't charged. And Travis's phone was downstairs, and I didn't know his roommates I didn't think were home at the time. So, like, I was just trying to think if there's any way I could call 911 or call or, or get out of the house. There's no way out except down the stairs. His windows are, they're two stories for one, and they're just, they were hard to get to. He had stuff here and stuff here and blinds and screens and window coverings and, I mean, from the outside. And okay. I just, um, she was over him, and I just rushed her, and I pushed her, and there was... There was what? Travis was bleeding everywhere. Um, what was she doing to him? Because he'd been shot at this time, right? Yeah, but he was still alive. Mm -hmm. He was still conscious, even. Like, still talking. Oh, he wasn't talking or saying much, but I could tell he was breathing. He seemed like he was breathing calmly, I think. He wasn't like, he was just there. Mm -hmm. I really remember it's such a blur. Okay, and so you, you did what now? You pushed her? She, she's bigger, a little bit bigger than me, not really in size, but height. Um, and what happened? Well, it didn't really deter her. Um, Did she have any weapons on her at all? Oh, uh, yeah. What'd she have? Um, she, I thought she was the one with the gun, but maybe she had the gun, but he had a gun. So either there were two guns or they or one gun, I don't know. Well, she's the one who shot him though, right? She was the one here and he was back here at that time when you saw them. I would think so, because, I mean, I do, I, I don't know, I got hit here somewhere. It, I just, I don't know. Because when I was, when I woke up, he was screaming, and I saw her at this point, like right here, and walking by her back. She must have been walking back this way, and I saw him sort of following, and that's when he's like, okay. finished, and then I started running this way, and he stopped me, and then he left the room for a couple of minutes. Why did he leave? Maybe to, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So what happened, after, what happened after you pushed her? Um, I, I got Travis, and he wasn't, like, standing up, really. He wasn't really doing much, and I was, and he was, I was trying to get him, and she came back. I got him kind of far, like right here. She came back, and uh, he was just, he was starting to just get weaker and weaker. And this guy came back in. And she said that, um, she said that they, they needed to, um, do me too. Because, um, because I was there. And he's like, no, that's not why we're here. And, He had my purse, which I had on the dresser here prior, somewhere. Um, and what did they do after this? After you guys reached this? Just try to stick with the incident so I don't know what was going on. She came after me and he stopped her. 
and she didn't get me. How was she going to get you? Did she have a weapon? She had a knife. Okay. You said she had a gun before. I don't know if she had a gun. I, I think, because I am guessing, um, I know that he had a gun. I don't know if she had a gun or not. So she was basically the aggressor. Yeah, unless he took a shot too. I don't know. But it seems like from what you're telling me, she was the aggressive one and he was the more passive. Yeah, I mean, there was definitely a aggression as far as, I mean, I don't know what you define aggression by, but like I was, there was a definitely a sternness and I wasn't like, just free to walk out of there. Like, hey, it's cool, it's cool, you know, and it wasn't anything like that. Then what happened? Um, they had an argument back and forth and she wanted to kill him and he didn't. Um. Why, why didn't they kill you? Just because he said? They, he said that's not what we're here for. Did they say why they were there? No. It was obvious they were there for him. I didn't, they didn't say why. So it seemed like they knew him, obviously. Yeah, but he didn't seem to know them. I mean, he was a little out of it, plus they had masks on anyway. But he didn't express any kind of recognition. Well, I could talk. He was able to say, go get help. And at one point he said, go to my neighbor's house. Go to my neighbor's house. So that if you... I, there was just, like, there was just no way Did you see them hurt him anymore? Um. Other than a gunshot. Um, she had a knife and I didn't, I don't know. He was bleeding everywhere. It was like, when she rushed me afterward, or she came back, I rushed her, but she kind of came back at me. Um, Why didn't she Travis hurt you? and I were right about here, maybe? I don't know, mm -hmm. halfway, I don't know. Um, and there was a little bit of a struggle with her and I. Um, I was so scared. I'm not a person who fights. Um, I'm not a person just who knows really about self-defense. I took some classes once, but it was like eight years ago and I've never been consistent with it. Okay. Um, so I wasn't sure. I just knew I had to hold on to her hands because she had a knife. What hand did she have there? She she had it in this hand, but a little to her right, I guess. So her right. <laughs> what happened? So you didn't see her hurt him anymore. He was just bleeding. Where did he end up? He um. I when I tried getting him here, he said, "Go get help." And when I tried, I came back this way, pushed her, and he said, go go to my neighbors, go to my neighbors. And I wasn't like, no, but I wasn't going to leave. If I couldn't leave without him, I was trying. Um, I felt stupid already for trying to run this way. I was going to go to a phone. And he was like, I just said, come on, come on. You know, he was naked, but I didn't care. Just come on. And he's like, I can't. I said, come on. He's like, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> and they wouldn't let me be by him. Were you were you clothed at that time? Or were you also nude? Yeah, I was clothed. Were those the pants that I showed you the other day on that camera? Uh, I don't think I have pants like that. I don't know. Um, I've got a lot of clothes. I'm trying to remember the clothes that I took to that trip. Um, oh, I do have another pair of striped pants. And they're, they're gray, though, with a black stripe. I'm 
don't think they were that. I don't know. Okay. So what happened after that? Um. They had a conversation about killing you two and you, and then they decided not to. She Go really, really, point. really wanted to. Um, what happened then? From there, they were, I was here, like his armoire or whatever it's called with his TV was here, mm -hmm. and I was right about here, and I had to stay here. And I was calling his name, and they were like, shut the hell up. Um, and I was just, I don't know if I was crying. It was all just like, I, it was so weird. Um, he was going through um, my purse, mm -hmm. and he pulled out my wallet, and he just took some cash. Um, I had, though, my cash stashed in the jeans I had worn, like a good chunk of it, not like 80 bucks, stashed in, in, in 420s in the back of my jeans pockets, which were in my backpack. Um, but I had some cash in here, not all of it, though. Okay. So he took that, and um, and what happened? He um, he was. What was she doing? She was like right here. Time. Doing what? Um, He's over here taking stuff from your wallet, uh, from your purse. You're here. She's down the hall. She, yeah, she wasn't far. It's not a far distance. I'm. There was part of me, I think, that was just. I was sitting, <coughs> and I was just like, I didn't know what to say. Like, would you beg for your life? Do you? Do you say who are you guys? I'm powerless because I don't have any way to stop them. They, they were just more powerful. Well, continue so on. So I figured, once he took stuff from there, what did he do? Um, she, she was, I don't know what she was doing, but she was arguing with him and talking with him and saying... What were they saying? She's like, it wasn't like super yelling, it was kind of like hushed but mm -hmm. intense. Like, you need to da 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 shut up, it's not over here. Things like that. And... And uh, he grabbed my wallet, and he was looking through it. He just took the cash, put it in his pocket. He um, he got my registration out of my wallet, mm -hmm. and he said, "What do you say?" You must be that bitch from California. Mm -hmm. And he was going like this with my um, registration. And he said, he said, if you ever, ever, ever say anything about this, That they'll do to my family the same way and me. And I didn't care so much about me at that point. He said, You need to leave. And don't you call anybody. And don't you say anything. And don't you act like anything happened. He's only giving you one chance. She said she's gonna rat us off. She's gonna say something, and he was like, "Shut up." He was like, "You get one chance." Is that when you left? I said, "Leave now." And part of me didn't want to leave. Travis wasn't was still alive. He was still. I could see, he wasn't moving a lot, but he was still alive. I could see that he was still 
did you leave at that point? Um, I left the room. And, and where did you go? I went downstairs, but I didn't have all my clothes. What did you leave there? Well, Travis said I had some stuff there. I didn't see what it was. He said it was in his closet. So they were clothes of mine. But all I had was my purse and my backpack. I left those and and I went outside. I just wanted to get help. He what told me that if I didn't say anything, that I would be, that I would, that I wouldn't even live to regret it, but that I would regret it. No idea why they did this to him. You have to know something about it. I didn't think what else was said. Anything that clicked in your mind? Because why would anybody do this to him? He did nothing but help people. Everybody likes him. Doesn't owe people money. No people like that anyway. No. He doesn't get involved in things he's not supposed to get involved in. He doesn't do drugs. Doesn't seem like a robbery. No, it doesn't. Burglary. I was wondering if they took my stuff to make it look that way, but then he told me to leave. And you know, um, Travis usually keeps his cash in his wallet. So you didn't see what happened to him then. I just saw that. Did you get hurt at all? You said you were fighting with her. Yeah. What happened to you? Um, she cut me. Where? At? Let me see. Where? You Can actually you show can't me? see it. If you look in a, my finger isn't the same though. I was. Let me see. Which where's where did it get cut? It was it, conveniently it was right on the crease. Right there on the crease. Can you see? Well, it's kind of a purple or color. I this guess. one here. Right there. Like this. Just yeah, right on the crease. Well, there's a vein on this one, maybe. Um, I don't know. It's this one here. A slice there. Yeah. Just a small one? Um or was it pretty deep? I don't know how deep it was, but my finger hurt for a long for a while. Okay, so like right in that crease that you right across both of them? Uh not my middle finger. It cut this one a little, but not as much. This is where it really went. I don't know how it happened that all these other fingers were missed, but this one yeah, I don't know. This one. Like, I still can't close this finger all the way. It's as close as it goes. Whereas this one goes like that. Mm -hmm. Also, my CTR ring used to fit both fingers, and I can't get it on this finger anymore. So it it's cut pretty deep then? I guess if you feel it, squeeze it. It just feels like bone, like there's nothing abnormal there. Mm -hmm. But again, like, my CTR ring slides right on this finger, and it used to slide right in off this finger, and I just can't fit a ring on here. Okay. It's a bigger size now. What about this hair? What's that from? That's my hair. Okay. I'm pretty sure. She scratches me a lot. So, when you were told to leave, you left? Did you get in your car and drive away? I always have my keys. Um, my keys are on. I'll have a little clip on them. And I, I do that because I'm very, very spacey. Did you see any other cars in the driveway or on the street? Um. Any vehicle descriptions no. you can give us? Uh, no. Not that I... Not that I really, not that I, I don't think his roommates were around. And you just left. You didn't run to the neighbors, you didn't try calling. You knew they were in his house. You had time to run to a neighbor, why didn't you do that? I was really scared. Okay. I was really freaked out of my mind. Okay. I don't believe you. I came in here hoping that you would tell me the truth. 
And this is not the truth, Jody. This is all I know. This is, does not make any sense. This does not make any sense. That's all I know. Nothing changes for me. I didn't think it would. I feel responsible because I feel that I could have done more. I feel that I should have gotten help. I feel that I should have been stronger. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, there's some great links below. The best thing you can do is like and subscribe. We will see you next time.